Hello everyone. Welcome to JH Soft Tech. Let me discuss SAP Procure to Pay interview question and answers. What is Procure to Pay process in SAP? Answer: The Procure to Pay process in SAP encompasses the entire lifestyle of procurement, starting from requisitioning goods and services to paying the supplier. It includes steps like creating a purchase requisition. converting it to a purchase order receiving the goods verifying the invoice and making the payment can you describe the major steps involved in the p2p process answer purchase requisition creation of a requisition for goods and services needed purchase order convention of the purchase requisition into a formal purchase order goods received receipt of the goods or services ordered recorded in the system invoice verification matching the invoice received from the supplier with the po and gr payment processing paying the supplier based on the verified invoice what are the key sap modules involved in the p2p process answer the primary sap modules involved in the P2P process are MM materials management manages procurement and inventory functions FI financial accounting manages financial transactions and accounting processes AP accounts payable manages vendor payments SRM supplier relationship management enhances procurement through supplier collaboration and procurement processes What is the purpose of a purchase requisition in SAP? Answer: A purchase requisition is an internal document that signals the need to procure goods and services. It serves as a request for the purchasing department to initiate the procurement process, ensuring that the needs of the organization are communicated and authorized before a purchase order is created how is a purchase order created from a purchase requisition answer a purchase order is created for a purchase requisition in sap by receiving the purchase requisition to ensure all required details are correct converting the purchase requisition to a purchase order using transaction code like me21 in adding necessary details such as vendors information delivery dates and payment terms approving and releasing the purchase order for further processing what are the different types of purchase orders in sap answer standard po for regular procurement of goods and services subcontracting po for procuring components that the vendor will use to manufacture the final product consignment po for goods held by the supplier but available at the company's premises stock transport order for transferring stock between different plants within the same organization service po for procuring services rather than physical goods what is goods received and it's important into the P2P process. Answer: Goods received is a process of recording the receipt of goods or services in the SAP system. It confirms that the goods have been delivered by the supplier and updates the inventory records. This step is crucial as it ensures that the received goods are in the expected quantity and quality. And it triggers the next steps like invoice verification and payment processing what is invoice verification in sap answer invoice verification is a process of matching the supplier's invoice with the purchase order and goods received to ensure that the billed amount and quantities are correct it helps in confirming that the invoice reflects the actual procurement transaction thereby preventing overpayments or discrepancies the key transaction code used is mir how does the system handle 
discrepancies during invoice verification answer during invoice verification discrepancies between the invoice purchase order and goods received and flagged by the system the discrepancies can be due to quantity difference price difference or missing goods receipts the system may block the invoice for payment until the discrepancies are resolved users can receive and adjust the documents as needed to clear the discrepancies what are the key transaction codes used in the p2p process answer create purchase requisition create purchase order goods received for purchase order enter incoming invoice automatic payment run explain the concept of three ways matching in p2p answer three way matching is a method used in the p2p process to ensure that the purchase order goods received and supplier invoice are consistent the match checks that the quantities and amounts in all three documents are the same before processing the payment this process helps in identifying this discrepancies early and prevents errors and fraud what is the importance of vendor master data in sap answer vendor master data contains all the essential information about suppliers including contract details payment terms currency and bank details accurate vendors master data is crucial for efficient procurement processes as it ensures that transactions are executed correctly and payments are made to the right entities how does the system handle automatic payments in sap p2p answer automatic payments are handled in sap using the payment program transaction code f110 the system selects due invoices processes payments according to the predefined payment methods generates payment files and updates the accounting records this streamlines the payment process reduce manual efforts and minimizes errors what are some common issues faced in the p2p process and how can they be resolved answer invoice discrepancies can be resolved by closing monitoring and reconciling purchase orders goods received and invoice late payments implementing efficient approval workflows and automatic payment runs can be addressed this issue supplier management regular reviews and updates of vendors master data ensure accurate and efficient transactions stop inconsistencies regular inventory adults and accurate goods received help in maintaining consistent stock records what role does reporting play in the p2p process in sap answer reporting in the p2p process provides insights into procurement activity supplier performance spending partners and process efficiency reports help in identifying bottlenecks ensuring compliance and making informed decisions common reports include purchase order status invoice agent and supplier evaluation reports explain the difference between a purchase order and a purchase requisition answer a purchase requisition is an internal document that requests the procurement of goods or services and is the usually created by a department needing the items A purchase order is a formal external document issued to a vendor specifying the items quantities and agreed price for goods or services that the vendor will supply What is a release strategy in SAP P2P Answer a release strategy in SAP P2P is a process of approval for purchase requisitions and purchase orders it involves setting up criteria for when certain documents require approval and defining the sequence of approvals 
who need to authorize the documents before it can be pursued. This helps in controlling procurement processes and ensuring compliance with company policies. What are the key components of a purchase order in SAP? Answer header contains information such as vendor details, document dates, and payment terms. Item overview list the materials or services to be procured, including quantity, price, and delivery date. Item details provide specific details for each line item, such as material description delivery schedule and account assignment conditions specifics pricing conditions discounts and taxes applicable to the order thank you for watching have a nice day